I'm Scott from the ArcGIS Enterprise team at Esri, and welcome to Automating ArcGIS Enterprise Deployments with Chef. In this intro video, I'll provide an overview of what Chef is and how you can use it to automate the setup of any enterprise deployment pattern. Other videos in this series will walk you through specific deployments. ArcGIS Enterprise is a WebGIS platform that gives your organization industry-leading mapping and analytics. Its basic setup comprises ArcGIS Server, an ArcGIS Enterprise Portal, and ArcGIS Data Store. Those machines can be on-premises, in the cloud, or even disconnected from the open internet. The analytical core of Enterprise lies in its server roles, such as GeoAnalytics, GeoEvent, and Image Server, which extend your deployment with specialized server technology. Chef is an IT automation framework. Its automation process revolves around a central Chef server communicating with Chef client software on each machine. The server comes in various forms. In these videos, you'll see me using a Chef server that we've set up on premises, but you can also pay for subscriptions to hosted Chef software as a service or the Chef Automate full stack platform. Regardless of how your server is set up, you'll allow it to log in to each of your target machines and install the Chef client at which point we call the machine a Chef node. Now, Chef is not the only way to set up ArcGIS Enterprise, but automating the setup this way can significantly ease the effort and the time involved. That's why we've developed resources for you to automate your deployment with Chef out of the box. The Esri Automation team regularly publishes resources for the Chef automation process, available for free at our GitHub site. From this site, you can download two zip files we provide, one with cookbooks, and one with roles. A cookbook comprises recipes, which are scripts to automate a certain task, as well as the various ingredients the recipes need. The ArcGIS Enterprise Cookbook has dozens of recipes for tasks such as installing ArcGIS Server or authorizing software. Our Chef resources take another step with roles files. These are JSON files that specify which recipes to run in order to install software. To begin, you use a workstation to send your server the roles, cookbooks, and ingredients it needs. That happens via the Chef Development Kit, or Chef DK, which runs in your workstation as a PowerShell module. Before the Chef server can perform any task on the client machine, it installs the Chef client software. At that point, your machines are referred to as nodes and are managed by the Chef server via the client. Throughout the process, you'll call commands from your workstation to the server to run recipes on your nodes, and the server and client will do the heavy lifting. When you assign a specific role, such as GeoAnalytics Server, to a machine node, and then run the Chef Client command, the Chef server will pick out the recipes and ingredients specified by the role and send them to the client to install. Once the client is done, the node is ready to go. The ArcGIS software has been installed and configured, and any work such as federating servers and registering data stores has already been done you're ready to take the wheel and get started with ArcGIS Enterprise. We particularly recommend using our Chef Cookbooks for multi-machine deployments. It removes the need for you to move from machine to machine installing components. All the work is initiated from your workstation to the Chef server. And because the process is iterative, you can even just run a PowerShell script in the Chef Dev Kit that contains all the commands for your installation. If you ever need to expand your deployment or remove a machine, that's really easy as well. Just run the client again. Whether ArcGIS Enterprise as a platform is new to you, or you're a longtime admin looking to simplify your setup process, I urge you to review the Enterprise documentation before you begin, especially this page, Deployment Patterns for ArcGIS Enterprise. There, you'll find our best practice recommendations for each server role. And Esri is committed to helping you architect the ideal system for your organization from start to finish. Our professional services and technical support teams are always available. So now that we've introduced Chef and ArcGIS Enterprise and explained why you'd want to use Chef to automate an enterprise deployment, let's get started on some workflows. Follow the links on your screen to watch different sample deployments with Chef or to explore the ArcGIS Cookbook repository on GitHub. Happy automating! Mm -hmm.